Okay, in this video, we're going to be looking at a workaround in, uh, of the Garmin Verb Edit um, script error that's, uh, that's all of a sudden come up. So first of all, we'll down download um, our video onto, the, onto our computer. Next, we go into Sky Demon and we find the flight uh, that matches the video. When we find the flight, the easiest way to get the GPX uh, file from that is to email it to ourselves. Once we've emailed it, we can open the email and pick up the GPX file and save that to our, to our folder. Whilst we're in Sky Demon, we'll have a look at um, uh, explore the flight through um, Google Earth. When we're in Google Earth, we can zoom right in and we can see exactly where we started to record. The great thing about Sky Demon, you, it'll show you exactly where you are, but it won't start recording until you reach a certain speed, which is about 40 miles an hour. Next, we open Verb, verb Edit and we import, first of all, the video. We don't need to optimise the video, so we can cancel the next stage. Once it's been imported, we can drag it down onto the timeline. We can use the zoom button to expand the video onto the timeline. Now that we've got the video onto the timeline, we need to import the GPX file. So we go into uh, the G-Matrix. We know that the G-Matrix file is on the computer uh, in our folder. So we go into my computer, find it and drag it into the, uh, where it says drag it into or browse for it until it's loaded. Once it's loaded, we can say, use this log. It'll open up a video screen on the right hand side and it'll put default gauges in. You can then go into the template side which is on the left and choose which gauges you want. As you can see I've customised my own gauges um, which I use all the time. So now we need to go back to the data um, tab and click on the G-Metric Sync which synchronises um, all the gauges with what's happening on the video. This is a good time to remind ourselves where we actually started to record. So leaving the slider on the right hand screen at zero, we can then uh, move the video side of the screen until we get to the end of the first uh, white line and pause the video there. Golf zero zero, runway two six seven two nine zero six knots, left turn out, clip stick off. Left turn out, clip to take off, golf zero zero. Once we've done that, we can press done and it'll lock the uh, the gauges to where they need to be. Um, to check this, we just go back into the video and let it play for the first couple of minutes. Golf zero zero, runway two six seven two nine zero six knots left. Turn out, clip take off. Left turn out, clip to take off. As you can see, the gauges are blank until we get to a point where we've passed the the white line. Then they'll spring into action, and there they are working. Once you're happy with it, go to the top right hand corner of the screen, click export, and you can render the video.